family, welcome back to New Mongo Food International Ministries. I am Minister Glean, AJ ELJ. You all have no idea how long it took me to literally just not get ready for this live stream. For this, well, it's not a live stream. To um, record the audio, like I've been trying to go live with you all for the past maybe an hour. Listen, the devil is a liar. I've got a word for somebody today. While I was um, laying down today, just relaxing myself, thinking of what to come to release to you all today, I spoke with the Lord. I wanted to know what he, he needed me to give to you today. And these are the words I heard, okay? Amongst other things, the Lord has a surprise for somebody, but for a few of you, it has to be for somebody in Jesus' name. So I'm so sorry that we couldn't go live and uh, be live together, family. Please forgive me. I did try. I wanted to come on live and just connect with you all and see your live chats and everything and interact. But that wasn't how it, it was supposed to be, I guess. So here we are just recording it and just bringing it out there to you all. So I hope you all are doing great. I'm doing good myself. If you are new, welcome to New Manga Food. Please subscribe. We don't want you to have to miss any of our videos, our live streams that we put up every day. And um, oh yeah, happy new month family. It's the 1st of April. I'm excited because April is my month. It is the month where Minister Glynn was born 34 years ago. <laughs> 34 years ago, amen. I hope you all can hear me properly. I'm just gonna turn down my music for um, a little bit because I love to be in the spirit of worship and just let the, let the spirit of God just have his way. But I want you all to hear God's word. I don't want you to hear me. I want you to hear the words of the Lord. Amen. So it's great to be here. It's great to be doing this uh, recorded video for you all. Again, welcome to all of our new family, our new family members. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Let's turn it into a song. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Okay, I, I don't want to get too, too excited and just become annoying, okay? Anyway, let's get right into the word, okay? You all, okay. So, the word, the, the Lord spoke to me. See, it's my month. I really do get this optimistic, excited and everything for the month of April. How many you month? Okay, so, the Lord said this about you, okay? This word is for, for a few of you. It's not going to be for everybody. It'll um, resonate with your spirit. If the Lord has spoken something similar to you in the secret place, for example, amen? And he's giving you uh, something similar. So this will be a word of confirmation for you, child of God. So I'm going to begin to read what the Lord said, okay? Now, because this came directly from the Lord, I just put everything together. As the Lord was speaking, I wrote it down. And I haven't gone to look for any scriptures. But trust me, there are scriptures for literally everything that, I, that I'm about to, to give to you. So go and make that your homework and look for scriptures that are going to connect with this with this word okay to confirm what i'm giving to you is from the lord hallelujah amen let's just quickly just um pray father we bless your name we worship you thank you holy spirit we welcome your presence and your power and i ask for grace right now to release this word the way you want me to father and i receive your grace and i receive your wisdom in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray for everyone listening and connected here right now oh lord i pray heavenly father that, that this word will be a blessing unto them in jesus mighty name take all the glory heavenly father speak through me today use me today oh lord in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen hallelujah okay you all father we worship you we worship you today, Jesus. We honor you today, oh Lord. Let me get my worship on. We need your presence. We need your power. Let it overflow, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord said, Glyn, tell the people to be strong, resilient in faith. The Lord said to me, Glyn, tell the people to be strong, resilient in faith. Tell the people to be strong, resilient in faith. Amen. 
hallelujah this word is for somebody listening to me right now the lord says to tell you to be strong and resilient in your faith to be strong and resilient in your faith don't let your faith have a downtime don't let your faith be weak no matter how many times the enemy is throwing stones at you throwing arrows at you let your faith be up let your faith be strong be resilient keep fighting keep bouncing back no matter how many punch punches the enemies um, um you know throwing at you you keep on punching back the enemy you keep on fighting back the enemy with your faith you keep on spending more time with the word of god you keep on building up your faith you keep on you you, you keep on worshiping the lord you keep on praising the lord you keep on dancing even though your circumstances is speaking otherwise you keep on doing all these things that's what god wants you to do he says to tell you to be strong and resilient in your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive the grace to continue to build your faith in Jesus. Mighty name, I pray for your faith, that your faith will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that God will grant you the grace, the grace to remain strong in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that grace is upon you. I impact that grace for great faith upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will begin to take active steps to begin to study the word to spend time with the Lord to build upon your faith to fellowship with the Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty name amen hallelujah the Lord says I'm coming with a big surprise I'm coming with a big surprise for some like I have surprised you this is what got me smiling like I was smiling and and I was excited, you all, for every single one of you that this word is for. When I heard the Lord say, I'm coming with a big surprise for some, like I have surprised you. Let me tell you all, family, the Lord has surprised me in not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, nine, ten. The Lord has just been blowing my mind like every single day. Even to wake up in the morning is a blessing. And each day I wake up is always something new. I wake up to his love. I wake up to his provision. Amen. I wake up to the avalanche of blessings coming in left, right, and center. And I'm always looking for who to bless because the Lord has given us so much and we always need to bless somebody. So that on its own, to be a blessing is a blessing. Does somebody understand what I'm talking about? To be a blessing is a blessing. It gives me joy in this ministry to be a blessing to you, either through sowing a seed into your life or either spending time like this to share God's word unto you, with you, family. So it is a blessing to do the work of the Lord. The Lord God said, you shall serve and I will bless. So I love to serve my father and I want you to, to do the same as well. Praise the Lord. The Lord said, I'm coming with a big surprise for some, like I have surprised you. Please believe me that I will not make up a story to you about whether God has surprised me or not. The Lord has uh, kept on surprising me, my husband, our children, in our finances, in our health. I, don't, I can't even tell you the last time that I was sick, that I was in hospital because I was sick. The Lord has just been amazing. And I prophesy healing over somebody tonight that has been experiencing um, sickness or, or pain or they've been um, afflicted with one disease or the other or the virus that is going around. I decree and declare that you are healed in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are released from that sickness in Jesus' mighty name I pray. I decree restoration upon your health, upon your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul, all that concerns you. I speak restoration in abundance, in multitude, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. God is coming with a big surprise. He's coming with a big surprise because he knows I've shared my testimony onto many of you about how God has surprised me in this ministry. The Lord says to tell you, I'm coming with a big surprise. Your God is coming with a big surprise. El Shaddai is coming with a big surprise. Somebody leave a comment in the comment section and say, God is coming with a big surprise for me. God has a big surprise for me. You open up your mouth and you speak it into the air as well. Say, God has a big surprise for me. Daddy God has a big surprise for me. My Heavenly Father has a big surprise for me. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, somebody. I want you to trust in God that when God says he's going to do something for you in your life, please believe that he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. God doesn't promise to fail. He promised to fulfill. Abba Father does not promise to fail. He promises to fulfill. Jesus Christ does not ever promise to fail. He promises to fulfill. Somebody say, my God promises to fulfill. My God king of kings lord of lords the beginning and the end the alpha and omega yeshua hamashiach he promises to fulfill never promises to fail but promises to fulfill if you know the god you serve you will understand that every single promise that god has placed upon your life is for a day of fulfillment it is for a day of fulfillment somebody say to yourself the promises of god over my life is for a day of fulfillment it is for a day of fulfillment i put up a video or sermon a few days ago i said the um the date is fixed the date is fixed and the anchor scripture for that word was habakkuk 2 3 the date is fixed please believe that the date for your um for your promise to be released and manifested on the earth that date is fixed there is a date for it there there was a date for for my marriage restoration to be to, to be um, fulfilled. There was a date for my financial inheritance to manifest. Hallelujah. There was a date for the avalanche of blessings in my life and, and, and also in this ministry to manifest. So the date is fixed. You haven't seen it, but trust me, I assure you, the Lord God Almighty is coming with a big surprise for you. God Almighty is coming with a big surprise for you. But he says to you, he says, tell the people to be strong and resilient in faith. Why? Because for God to operate for God to move in your life, for God to manifest what he says he's going to do in your life, he needs your faith. Jesus needs your faith. Jesus needs your faith. So you need to keep faith in it until you see it manifest in the physical. That's what God wants you to do. Because without your faith, the Lord cannot move. Amen? Excuse me. The Lord cannot move. Without your faith, the Lord cannot move family he cannot move without your faith he needs your faith so he says be strong in your faith be resilient in your faith hallelujah don't stay down when you're hit get back up again 10 times 17 times 22 times you keep on going you keep on going at it in the day in the night you keep on trusting you keep on believing you keep on singing and dancing as if it is done somebody say as if it is done and it shall be done in Jesus name the Lord said they must remain faithful they must remain faithful Jesus wants you to remain faithful your creator your father says they must remain faithful see God wants to surprise you but you must remain a faithful servant but you must remain a committed servant but you must remain a devoted and dedicated servant how many times in in my sermons do I keep I'm repeating this word, faithfulness, commitment, dedication, devotion. I'm telling you all, these are keys to receiving the, the overflow and the abundance and outpouring of God's blessings in your life. How do I know? Because those are keys that I employed in my life for me to be, uh, um, to be, to be able to get to where I am today. To be able to experience the surprises of God on a daily basis. Amen. The Lord says to tell you, he, he says, they must remain faithful. Yes, the Lord wants to surprise you, but he wants you to remain faithful. Yes, God wants to release blessings to you, but he wants you to remain faithful. God is saying to you, remain faithful. Remain faithful, child of God. Keep serving the Lord. Be faithful in little and God will bless you with much. Hallelujah. Be faithful on a daily basis. Be faithful with your time. Be faithful with your resources. Be faithful in prayer, in fasting. You keep on doing what the Lord asks you to do. Remain faithful. The Lord says their weight will not be in vain. Their weight will not be in vain. Your weight, child of God, will not be in vain. Please believe that this weight that you are experiencing, that you are going through, is not punishment. I know these words, they sound very repetitive, but hey, faith, faith, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Your faith will grow when you hear and hear and hear the word of God, when you listen and listen over and over to God's word about what he's saying about your life. Amen? That is how you grow your faith. 
that and in so many other ways the lord says they their weight will not be in vain their weight will not be in vain i released the prophetic word on this as well because the lord gave me this exact same word i think it was in the month of february i'm not sure and i came up here and i released this word on the live stream i believe and the lord says your weight will not be in vain there's a scripture for this word i think it's in corinthians your weight will not be in vain your weight will not be in vain, child of God. So trust the Lord. Keep waiting. The reason why you haven't seen it, the reason why you haven't walked into your promised land is because it hasn't come. The time hasn't come. The date for your promise, your specific promise as a child of God has not come. That date has not come. So keep on waiting. And while you're waiting, remain faithful and be resilient in your faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The last thing that the, um, the Lord said to me was this. He said, the time has come to bless my people. I, I've, I've received something similar from the Lord before about this exact same words. In fact, everything here, I feel like I've heard it before and I've, and I've relieved it in different capacity at different times in this ministry. But you know what's beautiful about when the Lord speaks about something over and over again? He loves to remind you. And we all know that our God loves to repeat himself as a way to remind you, but not only just to remind you, but to reassure you that he's going to do this thing that he promised long time ago. Isaiah 48 uh, said suddenly um, he says um, that he spoke about something that he was going to do in your life right at one time he said that, that, that he was going to do this thing in your life and then suddenly he did them and then they came to pass amen hallelujah so this is God's word for somebody today for a few of you take it to the Lord Pray about it. I pray this word has blessed somebody. May God prosper you. May God bless you. And I pray for you today in Jesus Christ's name that your faith will not fail. Your faith will continue to grow and that you wait upon the Lord for the big surprise that he is about to release unto you, child of God. Whoever this word is for, I know it is for somebody. I know it is for you, child of God. So don't get weak. So don't get weak. Do not get weary. Do not get lazy. Keep on pushing, keep on praying, keep on doing everything God has called you to do. He's about to surprise you in such a big way. Amen. You may be in the midnight hour of your life, but trust me, a new dawn is coming. Daylight is about to break forth in somebody's life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you've seen so many people around you, your friends and family. They've been celebrating for that new job. They've been celebrating for that new marriage. They've been excited. They've been, they've been doing all that God has called them to do but listen child of God it is your turn and surely your turn is here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the vision the promise is for an appointed time yes the the Lord may have allowed you to um, wait upon him this long, but eventually the wait will be worth it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May God bless every single one of you, prosper you and guide you and continue to protect you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray against every satanic attack, every demonic attack in your sleep, in, in, in your dreams, in your family, your children's life, your marriage, your business, your employment. I cancel every attack of the enemy in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release the captives today. I set you free today. Every sick person here today is healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will raise you up as his holy people. The Lord will call you his priest and his servant and he will bless you immensely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for that person today that is struggling with a stronghold of sin. I break it off you. You have overcome sin because Christ said on the cross that it is finished. That thing you are struggling with it is finished in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray God will grant you grace to continue to live a life of holiness and, and a life that is pleasing unto him in Jesus' name. God bless every single one of you. Anyone that needs help or needs support, please don't be ashamed. Please don't be shy to reach out to the ministry. Contact at newmangoffwood.com. If you need help with groceries, with food, water, nappies, single parents, please reach out to us. We want to be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. May God bless you. All the links to tithe and to give are in the back. 
excuse me, are in the bar below. All the links are tied and to give are in the bar below. If you're a tithe, you're a giver in this ministry. God bless you. God prosper you. In Jesus' mighty name, the links for the books are in the bar below. If you don't find the links for all the books, just check on Amazon. Type in my name on Amazon, Glyn AJ Ehoje, and you'll find all the books there. Kingdom Marriage Kids, The Ultimate Prayer and Book Guide, Nimangoku Devotional, they're all there. If you're new again, Please subscribe before you leave and God bless you all. If you are not born again, you haven't given your life to Jesus, please say this prayer of salvation. Jesus loves you so much. Now is the end time. Don't live your life anyhow you want to. Draw near to Jesus. And it says, when you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. Now is that time. There's so much happening in the world. Give your life to Christ. Jesus loves you. That's why he died on the cross for you. Say with me this prayer. Oh Lord God, I come to you today. I believe Jesus that he died for me on the cross and on the third day he was raised up Lord Jesus I thank you for this perfect sacrifice I release myself to you and I receive you and I receive your grace and I receive your Holy Spirit I now declare I'm born again and I'm saved in Jesus name amen hallelujah praise God for you that said that prayer of salvation may God bless you and prosper you and continue to uplift you and guide you on the right path of righteousness and holiness and sanctification in Jesus name until next time you all will see you all very soon God bless you and we love you all very very much God bless